Good day everybody. Today we're going to be performing a practical review on the use of tenecteplase in the context of acute ischemic stroke within the first four and a half hours from less known in usual state of health. Of note, tenecteplase has not been FDA approved for this indication, but it is contemplated in the acute stroke guideline from the American Stroke Association as an alternative to IV alteplase. Tenecteplase is a medication that induces and accelerates acute blood clot lysis. It does so by two mechanisms. One of them is the activation of plasminogen into plasmin, which is the molecule that digests the clot. Tenecteplase is also slower to be digested by the enzyme plasminogen activator inhibitor 1, also known as PAI1, which is the main degradation path for alteplase that will also degrade tenecteplase. Tenecteplase is a modified alteplase and it is generated via recombinant DNA technology where three amino acids have been modified to increase the half-life of alteplase from less than five minutes to 20 to 25 minutes for tenecteplase. Tenecteplase is used in the same context as where alteplase would be used otherwise with the same indications and contraindications the same post-IV thrombolysis stroke order set protocols and monitoring and care will be performed after administration of tenecteplase. The dose of tenecteplase is 0.25 mg per kilo and the maximal dose will be 25 mg or 5 ml. After reconstitution, there are 10 ml in the vial and only a maximum of 5 milliliters will be needed to be given to the patient. For administration, draw from the vial using a 5 milliliter syringe to optimize for safety. That way the patient is not given more than 5 milliliters at any given time. Once reconstituted, always visually inspect before administering to the patient. Tenecteplase should be free of particulate and should be slightly pale yellow. Tenecteplase is metabolized in the liver. As always, weigh the patient with acute stroke before placing into the CT scanner. That way, you're making the calculation of the dose of tenecteplase while the patient is getting the CT scan. The suspected acute stroke patient should be placed in the resuscitation, which is flat, to improve blood flow to the brain. Remember, you are resuscitating the brain, and the resuscitation position is flat, just as in ACLS. The goal of the systolic blood pressure will be between 120 and 180 when we are given a thrombolytic agent, agent IV, and ideally, the systolic blood pressure should remain between 140 and 180 for improved clinical outcomes. Some of the benefits of the use of tenecteplase are ease of use, as it is given as a bolus over five seconds, and there's no need for a one hour infusion. Tenecteplase has similar type and rate of complications as alteplase. Main complication remains the risk of any bleeding, which is less than 6%. Increased risk of bleeding in thin, older women, in general. Tenecteplase seems to have a slightly lower rate of intracranial bleeding complication than alteplase. Once you, Once you give IV thrombolytic agents, delay the insertion of urinary and GI catheters and also IM injections or other invasive procedures where bleeding can be difficult to stop by applying pressure to it. Tenecteplase has the, has the same post-administration care as alteplase. Do not confuse alteplase with urokinase or streptokinase. On this slide, there is 
a series of checkboxes that is worthwhile to review that pertain to the care patient receiving IV thrombolytic agents in the context of acute ischemic stroke. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please consult your local pharmacist. Thank you.